In preparation for this hunt, people would often ask me, why hunt bear? Why drive 16 hours across country by yourself to go after a bear? Why not elk or a much more popular game animal? Well, I wanted the challenge as well as the memories. Of course, just my luck, as soon as I arrive at base camp, it starts hailing. Then we were met with some friendly fog at the first glassing point, really obstructing the view. I will get to know this inclement weather well as it persists throughout my entire stay in Arizona. You know, if I was a bear right now, I would want to get out in this weather. Just feels good, you know, get out, walk around, stretch my balls, get some acorns, get shot, you know, the good things. This evening's hunt does leave much to be desired as we head back to base camp. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Day two out here in Arizona. We got a little bit of rain. It's a pretty cold morning. It's starting to warm up a bit. And uh, what time is it? What, about 9.30? It's about 7.30. Or 7.30? A two-hour delay. I'm still off a little bit, but it's about 7.30, and we just saw our first wild bear in Arizona, the sow with the cub. So now we're just trying to look for daddy. Fortunately, it's an illegal bear, but still fun to watch. With no legal bear to be seen, we moved to our next glassing point. I was in awe upon arrival. Little watering hole down below, two ginormous peaks, one to the left and one to the right. Plenty to view. Unfortunately, no bears. So then we trekked out. So we go get set up on what we thought was going to be a great vantage point. Uh, we're actually able to see the rest of the cliff face as it, the peak, as it runs over, kind of curls. And we see, of course, fog rolling in. Shortly after that, rain rolls in. <laughs> Packed up, got, in, got behind some pine trees real quick. A little break from it, trying to stand to where the rain's actually falling, like behind this tree, hugging it. But it's like every time we get a chance to really sit down and do a lot of hunting, it's the weather just keeps constantly changing on us. Keeps giving, throwing us some surprises. Well, of course I wasn't filming. The rain came in, we dropped gear. Had to put all our wet, uh, waterproof layers on. And as we were walking to our next glassing point, we walk up on the ledge and lo and behold, there's a black bear, a big black bear, about 30 feet from us total. Like, <laughs> could have hit it with a rock took off down the ridge and we've been trying to run around chase it uh, wow what an experience i wish i'd have got it on film it was amazing
literally probably they were a good what 30 yards 40 yards good bow shot from us walking up underneath us i wonder if that bear hit that trail and took that trail oh, dude i mean he's already he's already went crest crest owner moved around to reposition on the bear and uh, the other guys that are up further on the ridge I think saw the same bear they wound up taking a shot at it so um, we're gonna head back because we jumped another bear the one that we got like 10 feet from that was a totally different bear uh, we might try these around see if we can find it let's see what we can do that just kind of show you my view here Just hanging out on the edge. Day four of the hunt. We we're actually right on the border of class and the ridge line. We've already seen one bear this morning. Hasn't stepped back out of the brush yet. Uh, we're gonna keep scouting, keep class, and see what we can find. Stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll get a bear today. Well, we're on another bear. It's sitting up in the brush. We're just waiting for it to come out. Hopefully, one. Hopefully, it'll give us an advantage, give us a shot. At least give us just one opportunity, you know? Well, we're now going to move further down the road and try to look for some more bears. That one bedded down. It ain't moving. We Get in on the brush. We got a little bit of a hike ahead of us, not too far. We're gonna actually go to the side by side and drive it down further down the road, see if we can get a better glassing position on this face. So, I'll be checking with y'all later. After glassing for several hours on some comfortable rocks, the sun finally put an end to our evening hunt. Well, it's day five, last day of the hunt, so we're gonna buckle down. Gotta get there today. <laughs> um, we're out to classing, which is a beautiful ridge, spot where we've seen bears before. So hopefully, hopefully we get an opportunity to get a shot, maybe get it down there. So Lord willing, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> so we just glassed up a black bear, jet black. We are now humping it at the brisk space. <laughs> Try to get a line up, see if we can get a shot on it. Looks like a good one, looks like a legal one. So let's see what we can happen. I did say I wanted the experience, that is true. <sighs> Ankle twisters everywhere. Thorn bushes at knee high. So we get all the way down through this thicket and through all this shit just to have another bear show up. And the bear we were after took off chasing after it, either going to kill it or screw it. Or both, maybe, who knows. But uh, yeah, no. One bear chased the other bear out and went up and over the ridge. Bad luck. <laughs> so now we're having to walk back up. Steep ass shit. No bear. <sighs> By the time we got a line on him, he was chasing another bear. 600 plus yards out. Full chase. And we're having to climb our happy asses all the way back up this steep shit here. The awe-striking view that greets us on the last morning of the hunt makes yesterday's defeat seem like a distant memory. New day, new opportunities.
All right, guys, we are on the last morning of the hunt. I actually have two guides with me, actually three, uh, spread out, and one of the guides on the other side of the mountain saw the big ginormous boar, black boar, that we uh, ran up on last night, and unfortunately didn't shot on because he's just chasing that other boar out of there and eating him. So we are hauling ass right now across the mountaintop to get set up. We are walking down a different spine now. Actually the same spine we walked down yesterday. It's so fucking rough. I'll try to get on a shot on this different bear. Looks like it's a different black bear, all black. Maybe a little smaller than the one we saw yesterday. But we're gonna try to get up on it. Get within range. Some rough ass train here, boys. Stay left just a little bit. This one's clear. I might be able to make it a little closer now. Now the long wait for him to step out. Well, it's been, we've been sitting here. It's already one o'clock. So how, how many hours was that? Four four or five hours sitting on her ass uh bear hasn't moved i tried cracking a shot at a log that's right underneath it um we knew it wouldn't ricochet her or anything and it raised its head it, it, it shook the brush a little bit but hasn't moved at all i got to get back to texas unfortunately i wish i could sit here and sit this bear out but i, I ran out of time so it's been a fantastic hunt and a great experience and I could you not just love this view.